Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here in the heart of nature. We've got the birds singing all around us. Things to let go of in 2017. So I posted a picture, 2017, more fun, yes. More laughter, less stress, less negative. I'm ready. Type yes if you're ready too. Okay, over a thousand comments in like two hours. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, we can actually make a song. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Yeah. Let's just breathe in that good ass prana, baby. So what am I going to let go of in 2017? What are you going to let go of in 2017? Throughout the whole year, right? This year and every year goes by so quickly. Now, time is just a man-made concept. It is an illusion. At the same time, human time is very real and it affects our psychology, right? Every new year is like people get excited and then afterwards they just go back to normal, right? But what am I letting go of? Firstly, suppress feelings. Is that you out there? bottling up emotions, right? You want to talk to me, but you can't even open your mouth to say what you really want to say. Yes, no, maybe, yes, no, maybe, yes, no, maybe, yes. No. Okay, yes, it's hard, isn't it? To really express yourself without the fear of being judged. What do these people think of me? I'm learning and I'm letting go of suppressed feelings. Why? Because these suppressed feelings create a lot of problems emotionally, mentally, and physically. They affect your health. They create a lot of negative energetic blocks. When you just express yourself, baby, you feel a whole weight lifted off your shoulders. And I realize this, look, what is greater than really saying how you really feel. No matter what people think, that will set you free. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Right? And it's hard sometimes, I know. What is another thing I'm letting go of in 2017? Now, every year, People want to tear people down, right? Have you ever noticed that I don't tear people down on this channel for a reason? Because when I first started Infinite Waters, okay, Deep Divers, I said, I saw a lot of people like attacking people and then people would watch their videos and that's a, like a little secret how to get big on YouTube. But I said, ah, that's too easy because I could like talk about celebrities and then tear them down or talk about you and tear you down and then people will click on the video. I don't need to do that, right? I'm inspiring millions of people out of pure positivity. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You see the problem, if you keep tearing people down, what does that say about you? It's not progressive. Like I'm always very <laughs> cautious of hanging around anybody who is gossiping about someone else or who is tearing down someone else because chances are they're not happy within themselves. Good-hearted people simply don't tear people down. They lift them up, right? So ask yourself, is that you out there? You always like criticizing people, wanting people to fall off, fall down? But Inside of you, that means there's something which is mirroring that back, right? You're reflecting something back to you, right? We don't want that. We're about upliftment on this channel. 
And I've seen it along my journey. That's what I'm letting go of even more. Like just more upliftment, right? For the new year. What else? Now, I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone every single day. And it's hard because I get comfortable. Like I've just kitted out my room, like new lights, right? Painted it like beautiful white, got some pictures. Every Yeah, I'm letting go of all of that, right? <laughs> I'm booking a flight to where you are right now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> yes. Moving outside of your comfort zone is very difficult, but that's what I'm letting go of in the new year. Because I just realized that you get stuck. When you're stuck, even though it might be comfortable, you limit your view. Like I travel to at least three countries minimum every single year, right? I've been around the globe, every single continent, nearly, right? <laughs> many, many countries. And I'm learning more the more I let go of all of this comfort I've created and, and just travel out into the unknown, I actually find myself having even more fun because nobody knows what's going to happen next. Not even the cat down the road, right? So that's what I'm letting go of. Like, you don't have to let go of your comfort zone. I say all you have to do is just expand it. Now, by the way, seven day vegan challenge, this is another thing I'm letting go of, right? No, I'm not letting go of being a, plant-based eater. No, no, definitely not. But making excuses for saying, okay, this food is too expensive. I can't afford it. I don't have the money to buy this because it's just way too much. No, we shouldn't be like that. I've realized, look, if you want those grapes and they're like a couple of pounds, a couple of euros, a couple of dollars, right? Wh whatever currency you're in right now, right? Buy them. Because have you checked the price of a heart attack recently? It's expensive. You don't want to end up with a massive hospital bill. So certain times you might see a superfood, maca powder and say, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. Spirulina powder in your green juice smoothies and say, oh my gosh, Ralph, a lot of people write to me saying, it's so expensive, this plant-based stuff. I said, well, you go to the hospital and see, they'll charge you like a thousand dollars just for like going in and saying hi to them, right? So I'm letting go of making excuses. If I want that papaya, if I want those mangoes, if I want to eat out at beautiful vegan spots. I'm going to do it. I don't care about the price because, hey, hospital bills are way more expensive. Another thing I'm letting go of is insincere people. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, they have got to go. Like, I can't pretend. I'm too real for that. And are you pretending? Are you pretending, right? Let's let go of pretending, please. Like, the new year for me is all about authentic connections, and that's why I love connecting with deep divers. You often see me responding to people in the comment section, right? Infinite love and balance, hearts, hearts. Yeah, because it's family here. Like a lot of people have literally made babies to my videos. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's family. But along my early journey, I used to surround myself with people who I would know they're no good for me but why would I be hanging around them? Because they're insincere. Then I realized, okay, I got to work with these people, right? This was many, many years ago. But I realized I wasn't so happy being around them. So right now I'm letting go of insincere people. If the vibes feel off, then I got to trust that, right? And surround myself with people who actually care about me. I care about them. And that's what it's all about, baby. Because we're here to really set the planet on fire right now in the most amazing way. That's what the new year is going to bring. New year 2017 is going to be huge for the evolution of the planet. Massive things will be happening in a beautiful way and in an awakening way, right? What is another thing I'm letting go of? I'm letting go of any work that makes me unhappy. Yes, I've done a lot of jobs in the past which have made me very unhappy stacking boxes on top of boxes and being in warehouses 
not that interesting, to be honest. But right now, I'm having the time of my life. People say, Ralph, are you really happy making videos? Can I get a hello? <laughs> yes. Because I get to do whatever I want and create infinite abundance. I can travel to any single country in the world and create from wherever and share with the world what could be better than that. This is amazing. And not just me, there are so many other content creators who are literally creating, making a living off it, sharing with people, meeting amazing people, and having the time of their lives, right? So right now, and in the new year, it's just more working where I'm happy. Work isn't work when you're having fun. It's a lifestyle. Slow motion this side. Another thing I'm letting go of is stress. Unnecessary stress. Are you always stressing out? Yeah. It's natural. Don't worry about it. It's just that stress isn't good for you. <laughs> a lot of stress isn't good for you because it shrinks the size of your brain, right? Letting go of stress increases brain cells, increases brain cells, neurogenesis, right? You're going to feel better, feel happier, look younger. Like we don't need a lot of stress in the new year. Like people say, Ralph, how much do you sleep? I get enough sleep because I'm always falling asleep in nature. But certain times I do have a lot of late nights and that's also got to go in the new year, right? I'm not going to be staying up like three, four, trying to talk to you. Sorry, I can't do that anymore, right? <laughs> so that's what we're letting go of. Unnecessary stress. What else? Now, what I found is to stop. This is what I'm letting go of. What are we, number eight right now? Okay. <laughs> Running away from inconvenient truths which shake or threaten my reality, right? I'm letting go of that. I'm not going to run away anymore. Like, I'm tired of running. Any I'm tired of running. Like, I'm just tired of running. A lot. Could, could, could you hear me out here right now? I'm tired of running, man. From truths which will probably set me free in the long run. So I remember, like, along my early journey, I would read books and they would have profound truths in them, right? My mentor, Mikhail Ivanov, right? And I was like, gosh, that's too truthful. It's too real. But that's what actually helped me become my greatest version, live this life of supreme abundance. Look, the truth of the world is beautiful and very ugly at the same time. When you start to realize you are so much more than what you have been told, most of what you have been taught from a child is a lie. Yes, it's you're going to you're going to be in for a rude awakening, but your third eye will start to open, right? So facing truths have helped me it has helped me open my third eye become more awake and aware. And that's what's going to happen in the new year, right? Because we are going to be in for a massive paradigm shift, right? It's already happening, but even more as more people start to discover the truth of who they really are, right? Another thing I'm letting go of <laughs> in 2017 is this, like no more comparing myself with you, because I know you, right? We know each other. No more. I'm not going to compare myself with you anymore. And I'm not going to compare myself with people who I've never even met. Like, is that you right now? Do you compare yourself to like people in magazines, ladies, right? Oh my gosh. Like I want her butt. I want her breasts. I want, and guys, do you compare yourself to like people you've never met to? Now, comparison is the greatest thief of joy. What do I do instead of comparing myself to others? I start working with them, right? Start working to that person you're always comparing yourself with. Start collaborating. That's what I do on this channel, right? I've like had so many different people dive deep who are making videos. There is no competition. 
because I'm in a league of my own. There is nobody on the face of the planet that is as weird as me. That's a compliment because when you're weird, you start attracting a lot of abundance, right? There is a gift in being unique. There is a gift when you realize there is nobody like you on the planet. You see, what's happened on the planet is so many of us, we're so fixated on being, we're so, we're so fixated on being like other people that we actually lose touch of who we are. Like you say, okay, I want the body like, I want a body like this. I want to, they're smiling right in selfies and you're like, that's not fair. Chances are you probably find out that they probably were smiling and then after that selfie, they went back to a screw face, like, right? Or maybe not. Maybe they're genuinely happy and be happy for them. But it's not fair to compare yourself with someone else because you might be walking in on their chapter eight, right? Or their chapter nine or their chapter 22, for goodness sakes. How is that even fair to compare yourself, right, to someone else? More so, you're both here to do totally different things. You see, that's the problem with comparison. We actually feel that we're actually here and we have the same design. Each one of us on this planet has a totally different design. And comparison for me has got to go. You see, the universal oneness which humanity is stepping into in the new year and beyond is that separation is the greatest illusion. It is created from the ego mind. And that's why people are waking up on the planet because for the first time they are realizing that ego, yes, it has its place, but it is no longer necessary to be at the front anymore because we've been ego led for so many thousands of years the new year is all about moving into the heart space putting the ego in its place get get back ego <laughs> get back there right and living more from the heart space now this is not easy for me that's why you got to start preparing for the new year before it comes, like, start preparing like at least a year before the new year, right? <laughs> Do you know that new year used to be March 1st? Yeah, it's weird, right? So time is just an illusion. We know that, but we're saying that every day really can be a new year. And once you stop comparing yourself to other people, you will find yourself a lot happier and you will feel a lot happier. And what is... Another thing, one of the last things I'm letting go of. Well, I'm letting go of a lot of other things, but we'll just keep it simple, right? <laughs> I'm letting go of anything that takes me away from the truth of who I am. So I started to listen to a lot of classical music. I've been playing the classical guitar for over 15 years, right? I'm a producer. I produce hip-hop. I produce world music, pop music, any kind of music, right? Been doing that for a long time, but I kind of stopped. I got back into classical music and I make a lot of 432 music, right? I put it out 528 hertz. You, you hear it, right? You listen to that every night, right? Right, right. <laughs> but there was a time and recently I've been listening to a lot of sometimes music, which it doesn't do much for me, right? The beat is good but the lyrics aren't really saying much. And I'm like, no more of this, right? So I was listening to some classical music yesterday and I just felt so at peace, right? And I realized when I first started making videos, I was listening to a lot of classical music and my creativity level went like this. You know, they say classical music is the music of the gods. It is the celestial music. I feel all music is the celestial music, the drum, the heartbeat, right? When you listen to music that serves you, artists, because I know you love your favorite artists, right? Yeah, ask yourself, how are they helping me? What have they actually done that have helped me change my life in a better way? Or are you just listening to music which it might sound good, 
But then the next day, you're still stuck and confused, right? It might sound good, but then the next day, you are still stuck and confused, right? So I'm letting go of anything that doesn't bring me closer to the truth of who I am. That means not being bombarded by fake news stories and the media and all of that. I'm really all about coming more into nature in the new year. And obviously the love connection, right? Loads of babies on the way and stuff, right? And also really being in the heart space with someone else. For me, that is essential. I realize I I work a lot, but I don't work a lot. I create a lot and I'm blessed for it. Why? Because I have a lot of free time, like every single day. And for me, it's about even sharing even more, right? That's what I'm embracing for the new year and beyond, right? Share and let go of anything that moves you away from your true authenticity. Now, what are you letting go of in the new year? Let me know. I know it's going to be a lot of things, baby. Have a beautiful day. Feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> we are definitely not letting go of that, right? Life is good. Life is beautiful. Stay being the magnificent you. We are out here, deep divers, in the heart of nature with the beautiful birds all around us. Getting high. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs> we won't get we won't get rid of that. Definitely not.